His Excellency Professor Dr. Kan Zhao, Union Auditor General of the Union of Myanmar, Mr. Wan Tim, President of ASEAN Federation of Accountants, Head of National Accountancy Bodies of ASEAN Member States and members of the ASEAN Federation Accountants, distinguished speakers and participants, ladies and gentlemen. A very good morning to all of you. I would like to congratulate the ASEAN Federation of Accountants together with the Myanmar Institute of Certified Public Accountants for organizing the second, 22nd AFA conference. Since its establishment in 1977, AFA has become a hub for closer relations and regional cooperation among ASEAN accountants and contributed immensely to the development of the accountancy profession in the region. Therefore, I'm delighted to have the opportunity to address all of you at this conference. Ladies and gentlemen, the COVID-19 has caused unprecedented disruptions to our society, not only in terms of public health, but also in terms of economic activities. Globally, GDP level in 2020 is estimated to contract by 3.2%, which is a considerable decrease from 2.8% positive growth in 2019. ASEAN is not spared from this pandemic. Growth is estimated to decline at about the same pace of 3.3% given the disruption in the value change activities as well as the drops in consumption and business activity due to mobility restriction. ASEAN is expected to recover in 2021 as the economies gradually reopen, projected to grow by 4% and 5.2% in 2021 and 2022, respectively. Among the important features of the SERF is its acknowledgement of the important role of small businesses as the backbone of Southeast Asia economy. This reflected by incorporation of MSME in the SERF broad strategies and key priorities. In ASEAN, MSME accounts for between 88 to 99% of total establishment, between 51.7 to 97.2% of total employment and contribute to about 30 to 53% of GDP. Building the capabilities and networks of MSME would be critical for, the, for ASEAN to recover from this crisis and embrace a sustainable, more resilient economy in the future. I am pleased to learn that AFA too recognizes this important and delve deeper on this, including through two AFA research reports published in 2018 and 2020, namely the institutional environment for small and medium enterprises and the role for the accounting profession. And second, ASEAN small medium practitioners a report on technological competency skills. Notwithstanding, we are all uh, aware that MSME remains among the most vulnerable groups. With their limited resources, they are less able to withstand market volatility and to rapidly adjust their business models. Therefore, the SERF put a lot of emphasis of MSME, and I wish to highlight two of them. First, promoting MSME digital upskilling and access to market. The pandemic has accelerated digital adoption. In 2020, over 40 million new users 
went online for the first time in Southeast Asia, outpacing the average increase of 25 million new users per year in the preceding four years. Digital technology is a crucial enabler for ASEAN MSME to empower them with access to information and larger market. ASEAN is working towards the development of ASEAN digital economy by 2025 and envisage in the ASEAN Digital Master Plan 2021-2025 and the recently adopted Bandasri Bagan Roadmap on Digital Transformation. Second, promoting financial inclusion, 265 million people or 44% of adults in ASEAN are still unbanked. This combined with high percentage of informal activities from ASEAN to establish effective and interoperable payment system and to increase financial access for businesses and consumers in the region. ASEAN is also undertakes financial literacy in initiative and expand the reach to financial institution, especially in rural and remote areas. ASEAN also embrace broader categories of financial technologies for e-commerce and payment to facilitate cross-border trade and transactions by MSME. Last year, ASEAN and OECD released a policy insight on boosting MSME resilience during the COVID-19 pandemic. ASEAN is currently also exploring the development of ASEAN SME recovery facilities, a multi-contributor and co-financing platform to provide financing facility and accelerate, accelerate the recovery of SME in ASEAN. Ladies and gentlemen, Another very important global issue is sustainability. ASEAN's community building efforts to uplift the standards of living of ASEAN people have been complementing the UN 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development as underscored in the ASEAN Community Vision 2025. With the COVID-19 pandemic outbreak, there is an added urgency to ensure that responses to the pandemic across the region addresses the added challenges in progressing towards the SDG agenda. Sustainability is an important feature emphasis, emphasized in the ASEAN Comprehensive Recovery Framework. It calls for promoting sustainable development across all dimensions of development including promoting sustainable and responsible investment and sustainable financing. Recently, there have been a number of notable progress in this area. Last month, on October the 18th, 2021, ASEAN adopted the framework of circular economy for the ASEAN economic community, which seeks to scale up and accelerate the region's transition to low carbon economy and aim to guide ASEAN in achieving long-term goal of a resilient economy, resource efficiency, and sustainable and inclusive growth. Under the finance and central bank process, an ASEAN taxonomy board has also been established in March 2021 to develop, maintain, and promote the ASEAN taxonomy for sustainable finance. The resulting of ASEAN taxonomy version one launched a couple of weeks ago on 10 November 2021 served as a reference to guide capital and funding towards activities that promote the sustainable financing. Ladies and gentlemen, it is important for business community and governments to join hand in pursuing recovery from the pandemic crisis and rebuilding ASEAN economies stronger in a more sustainable manner. 
the 22nd AFA conference with your chosen theme of redefining our value, the future of ASEAN accountants, provide an excellent opportunity for all of you to discuss and redefine the role of ASEAN accountants in this process. Empowering and developing the capacity of ASEAN accountants, particularly small and medium practitioners, in embracing the rapidly evolving technological transformation and competency requirement would be paramount. AFA also needs to, re -look, to look into the role of ASEAN accountants in the increasing emphasis on sustainability in business finance, financing as well as investment activities. The growing recognition on the importance of environmental, social, and government ESG issues, for example, may demand for new accounting standards, guidelines, or even reporting requirements that facilitate more accurate reflection of these needs. With this, I wish you all a fruitful and successful conference. Thank you very much.